This is a new year of common sense. And to celebrate, I have a surprise for you all. I have created a formula that will make it easier for new contestants to make it further into the game. This is no big deal. I've changed the formula in the past. But you might be asking yourself, what about old record holders like Andrew Mowbray? They didn't get this advantage. Well, Andrew will always be the winner of Old Common Sense, and he will stay on the record board. But I did want to experiment. Tell me what you think about it in the comments, and welcome to the new Common Sense. Welcome back to Common Sense. It has been a long time and I am here uh, with this fella. Would you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Logan Osborne. Um, I am married to Seth's cousin Paige. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, so you're coming here to see if you can make it to 55. 55, so see if 56. You can beat Andrew Mowbray score. By the way, we did give Andrew Mowbray a bigger prize and a lot of food. Um, here, I'll let you have a little more room there. Sorry, I, a lot of the times with this, I'm always hogging up all the space. Um, I guess this will be fine. Alright, well anyways, here we go. Okay, so the first question I decided to ask is a Christmas question, since it is around the Christmas holiday. By the time this is shot up, it'll be New Year's probably. But the first question... In the 1837 poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas, how many reindeer pull St. Nicholas's sleigh? Is it A, 8, B, 9, C, 20 million, or D, it's walruses, not reindeer, who pull Santa's sleigh? It was 8. Are you sure about that? Yes. You are correct. Moving on to question number 2. Uh, it's another poem by with St. Nicholas in okay. it that has walruses. Oh, okay. that's, a, that's a different story. Question two. Which period do humans live in currently, and also since we've been around? Is it A, the Jurassic, B, the Triassic, C, the Quaternary, or D, the Permian? The current period humans are living in. What was, uh, can you go over the answer again? Is it A, the Jurassic, B, the Triassic, C, the Quaternary, or D, the Permian? D, the Permian? Is that your answer? Yes. Ooh, that is your first <laughs> one wrong. It was the Quaternary. So I'll mark one X. But that's okay. You still have two X's left. Oh, okay. And cool. remember, you have those helping hands. The Ask Jared, uh, Eliminate Two... And the... Ask Paige, maybe. Uh, yes, and ask Paige or ask one of these people out <laughs> Andrew, here. Andrew, Andrew's really good up here. Julia. Julia, yeah. Julia, forget about Julia. Julia <laughs> All right. Which book didn't win a Pulitzer Prize for literature? Is it A, Gone with the Wind, B, To Kill a Mockingbird, C, The Grapes of Wrath, or D, The Life of Pi? Gone with the Wind? Is that your answer, or would you like to use a helping hand? Yes, that's my answer. All right, well, I'm sorry. That is your second one wrong. That's what I would have said. That's what I would have thought. What, what was your answer? That, gone with the wind, yeah. right? No, it's uh, The Life of Pi. Really? I thought The Life, life of Pi, pie. Pie. Yeah, was like No, I'm oh. sorry. But that's okay. Remember, you still have those helping hands. Okay. All right. So question four. In 15, although you only have one strike left. In 1519, who was the conquistador who eventually conquered the Aztec Empire? Is it A. Hernan Cortez, B. Francisco Pizarro, C. Alonso Fernando, or D. John Francis? You can eliminate two, you can ask a friend, or you can ask Jared. Uh, there's only a 50% chance that Jared is telling the truth. Eliminate two. All right. So it is either Hernan Cortez or Francisco Pizarro. Pizarro. Is that your answer? Yes. 
I'm sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> that is three strikes. But that's all right. It, it was. It can be a very hard game sometimes, and you did your best. Hey, hey thank you for coming on board. Good game. <laughs> and Paige will be next. So we'll see you next week for Common Six with Paige Phillips. I know. It is good to be back.